We're seeing the, the, the enthusiasm around the California wines with their food and being able to match and pair their, our wines with their food is extremely exciting. This last session is based on food and wine, and specifically now it's based on Chinese food and wine. I am absolutely shocked at how good it really is, how many restaurants are Michelin rated, um, and how diverse the offerings are. There. You can find everything and anything here in Hong Kong. Because of the uh, British uh, influence in Hong Kong, we have both Western food and Asian food. And in Asian food, not only do we have a variety of Chinese food, we have uh, ori uh, Oriental food ranging all the way from Korea, Japan, Taiwan to Singapore in Philippines. So we do have a vast choice of uh, sort of uh, dining choices in Hong Kong. The food scene here in Hong Kong is exciting, it's cutting edge, it's, it's uh, vibrant. Once you, you merge the culinary sophistication that Hong Kong already has established, and merge it with the, the, the wine scene that's, that's bubbling up, I think you're gonna find Hong Kong as the premier culinary capital of the Asian market. How difficult is it to pair, and to pair well, yes, wine with Asian cuisine? The Asian dining culture is quite different from uh, many European and Western countries. Most of the European countries that when they die, they have their own plate. No matter if it's appetizer, main course or second course, they have their own plate. Correct. But in Asian countries, they're all sharing food, food items. Mean that uh, when you order, you order different dishes on the table, then you, you are not eating one time only. You take anything. That makes the taste and flavor really complex. Right, so this, this is the fun part now. So we've both got these wines and I think what we want to do here is see which these two wines pair best with, with the food that we've got here. So I think you need to throw away the rules of you know red meat, red wine, um, white meat or fish or chicken, things like that. So give me an example right now. Throw me out one grape variety okay. that you just would say that pairs with most things. <laughs> Termina or Riesling, these two great varieties is really good for Chinese cuisine. Chinese cuisine. Why? First, if you have uh, like Cantonese, in, in Chinese cuisine, we also have different provincial cuisine, which is very particular. Like in Cantonese, we always have the fresh ingredients, mainly seafood, touch of meat or something like that, and a lot of vegetables. That is something that you have a great mix of seafood. You need good mineral, you need good acidity to really take off all the flavor, all the complexity in the mouth. And at the same time, compensate all things in your mouth. That Riesling can do that job. So many different flavors, yes, so many right. different spices, so many different everything. To me, it would be very wow. I, I wouldn't even know where to start. In sea Chinese food, it's all kind of spices, herbs, and strong flavor. That you need a good Not really need to be sweet, but good body, good acidity, good terminal. Then you really can pair it well with this sea Chinese cuisine. In Shanghainese, that is something that we can go for red wine. Shanghainese food, even though they have quite a lot of river fresh, they have a lot of fish, they have a lot of, uh, but they also have a lot of dishes which is braised, stewed, kind of sweet, heavy palate. That actually can pair well with some light, refreshing, easier red wine. 